prehistoric dinosaur called T-Rex. One of the largest known predatory dinosaurs, Duranosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short, is also possibly the most recognizable. In reality, the animal's name translates to King of Duranical Lizards. Durano is Greek for tyrant, Saurus is Greek for lizard, and Rex is Latin for king. Henry Fairfield Osborne, then president of the American Museum of Natural History, gave the animal the name Duranosaurus rex in 1905. T-Rex belonged to the Duranosauridae family of large, two-fingered dinosaurs with short arms and hands. Other Tyrannosaurid genera include Albertosaurus, Electrosaurus, Aeluramus, Chinkankusaurus, Dasbletosaurus, Eodoranus, Gorgosaurus, Nanodoranus, a debatable genus that some believe is likely an adolescent T-Rex, Prodinodon, Tarbosaurus, and Thushankteranus. From Alberta to Texas in western North America, fossils of the Tyrannosaurus rex have been discovered. Nonetheless, a 2016 study published in Scientific Reports suggests that T-Rex may have been an invading species from Asia. According to Live Science, an examination of T-Rex's skeletal traits revealed that the dinosaur monarch was more comparable to two Asian Tyrannosaurs, Tarbosaurus and Lushangaranus, than to North American Tyrannosaurs. Approximately 67 million years ago, as the waterway between Asia and North America retreated, it is possible that the creatures traveled over. The researchers recognize that the finding is tentative and that some scientists maintain that T-Rex developed in North America. However, not everything about Tyrannosaurus rex was vicious. The purpose of this dinosaur's surprisingly small arms is a matter of scientific controversy. Some argue that the animal's arms were an evolutionary relic, similar to the pelvic bones of a snake, or fulfilled non-predatory functions, such as aiding in mating. Others contend that the arms of the T-Rex may have been suited for vicious slicing at close range, considering their capacity to inflict severe wounds with their 4-inch claws. Despite having robust thighs, these dinosaurs were not swift. As depicted in the film Jurassic Park, they could only walk up to 12 miles per hour, which was likely insufficient to pursue a speeding jeep. Using biomechanical simulations, scientists estimate that if these massive beasts had walked any quicker, the bones in their feet would have been destroyed. The T-Rex's head was the stuff of nightmares. This ferocious carnivore was optimally designed for tearing through its food, with a rigid skull that enabled it to concentrate all of its muscle power into one bite, producing up to 6 tons of force. This dinosaur used its 60, 8-inch long serrated teeth to puncture and grasp flesh before tossing it into the air and consuming it whole. To prevent overheating while crushing prey with its massive jaws, the giant animal had vents in its head, similar to those found in alligators, to keep its brain cool. Despite all its advantages, T-Rex was no match for the cataclysmic extinction event 66 million years ago that wiped off 75% of all species on Earth. This catastrophe occurred when a mountain-sized asteroid or comet collided with Earth, wiping off Tyrannosaurus rex and the remainder of the non-avian dinosaurs and abruptly ending the Cretaceous epoch.